Hey guys, somebody's gun here. Today we're going to be making a video analyzing the POI that I'm going to call Deadpool's Yacht. It's a location that a lot of people have started to identify as a good place to land. I know Booga is planning on landing here as both a trio and a solo. So I'm going to go in, break down the pros and cons, show you a loot path that I like, maybe a second one if you're lucky. So stick around for the end of the video. And if you enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe as it's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoy. All right. So first let's start with the pros. The pros to landing at this POI are going to be the slurp barrels that are located on both the east and west side. There's going to be some underneath. Then there's tons of rotational items. There's three Actually, no, there's five different boat spawns. There's a whirlpool, as you can see right over here. And then there's also a helicopter spawn. So three different types of rotations that you could possibly take out of here as well as just swimming. Another positive is going to be the consumables. Underneath, there's a lot of different places where you could grab the new white consumable items. And then if we look at the loot, there's 19 different chests, plenty of ammo crates. So you should be able to walk out of here with plenty of good loot if you're a solo, even as a trio. The cons of this location are the lack of brick. There's almost no brick that you can get that's not in a chest here at this POI. The location's kind of tough. It's all the way at the north side of the map, so it's going to be a little difficult um, to get those far southeast rotations. And there's not much land around you. You can go over to the weather tower or the TV station, whatever you want to call it, outside of Craggy. There's also Craggy on the outskirts and Pleasant that you can hit as well. But the location's not the best. Additionally, this is kind of one of those awkward POIs. There's a lot of holes and places you can't build. Uh, it's definitely not something that I would try and land here for the first time during a tournament. Uh, it, once you get used to it, the awkwardness can play to your advantage because you know what is going to work best for you. So those are the pros and cons. Going to dive in a little more to each one and break down a couple of loot paths that I like. All right. So as I talked about, one of the pros is that there's going to be slurp barrels all over the map. Then, as you can also see, there's these little crates which carry white consumables. It's anything from white heels to shield to peppers, which give you a speed boost. The variety of different consumables that you can grab is a huge bonus. This is right underneath the main cabin of the ship, but there's also tons of slurp barrels. There's five on... The western side there's seven or more on the eastern side so plenty of extra shield laying around that you guys can grab another great piece to this poi is going to be the various different rotational items that are available so as you can see there's a helicopter spawn here a boat spawn here and then there's plenty of other boat spawns that are around the map there's two more on the right side here and then there's multiple on the left side as well. We can see three, four total, oh, no, nope, just three boat spawns. Then if you go just outside of this location, there's a whirlpool, which is essentially just a free launch pad or jump pad, similar to the geysers that we saw in previous games. So tons of ways to move out of this POI. You're not going to typically be stuck swimming out of the yacht. One of my recommended loot paths is going to be to land at the back side of the yacht right here. So there are two chests right on the back side at the top. There's this one here. Then there's also this one here. Then there's four potential floor spawns, both in these locations. Not all four of them spawn this game. So you can quickly decide what weapon or floor spawn you want to land on, grab these chests, and then continue to loot. Then you break down into two layers into the vault right here and then there's going to be three chests right here one here you break this floor have the loot drop down on you here as there's another chest right there and then one on the opposite side of the wall so you can quickly grab five to six chests within a matter of 20 or 30 seconds right off the rip so hope that's helpful for you guys that's one of the loot paths i would recommend 
Now the second loot path that I would recommend would be coming in and going straight through and trying to land in this door. So it's going to give you two chests immediately with some easily farmable wood as well as ammo and floor spawns. Then you can continue down this path. There's a chest above right here that you can break down. But staying down on this bottom layer is going to give you protection. Again, there's these crates for the consumables and more chests and floor spawns as well as slurp barrels through the rest of this bottom area. So those are the two, two loot paths I recommend. Obviously, you can play with it a little differently. Um, I don't recommend landing at the front or top. Those have been highly congested after landing there for a few hours over the past couple days. I like the back because it gives you a good view. I'm going to show you guys the angle you get here. You can jump on this ramp right here. And essentially have an angle of the entirety of the yacht, which is something I really like in a drop spot to give yourself vision and control over the POI. Um, but that's all I got for you. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm not really going to be breaking down the cons here as they're quite obvious. There's no brick at this POI. The location, yes, it's to the far north. That's, again, quite obvious. And then it's a little awkward, but... That's what I got. If you guys did enjoy the video, please feel free feel free to subscribe to the channel. There'll be some more content coming your way, both educational as well as commentary on the top players. So I'm Somebody's Gun, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.